guys, thanks so much for clicking on my channel with all smiles over here. I am Will Sanja, just like asking a question. Will Sanja help me keep a smile for today? And hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm going to try not to keep it long, but y'all already know. If it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The goal to never today is the more you know him, the more you will know you. But before I get to running my mouth, let's go and do a check of this manifestation jar, and then we're going to talk about it, okay? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. When I pulled out one, and that one says, what spiritual growth, which is what spiritual discovery, and we'll take that all day long. Listen. The more you know him, God, the more you'll know you. I know you're saying, I know who God is. That's fine and dandy. I'm talking about when you're not all the way aligned and connected, what happens? You don't really have a hunger or a desire to really what? Learn and understand more and more about God. You are what? In a standstill place. Why? Because your physical eyes and your physical ears and the falsehood of feelings are having you and keeping you distracted by what's going on. And that's the mind, body, ego. You can't concentrate on getting more of God because you're concentrating on that distraction of what's going on in your life. Here's the thing. When you get all the way aligned and connected, you know God is at core already. But when you're all the way aligned and connected, there's a particular hunger that you desire for God. That desire is there. You want to know more and more and more of God. Why? Because you know God is ever expanding. There is not an end to God and there is not a beginning. He is just is. He, he just is. You don't know the beginning and you don't know the ending. So when you know that about God, that the hunger and desire is there, you want to know more and more and more. And when you begin to know more and more and more about God, you begin to learn more and more about yourself. And like I said, when you're not aligned and connected, the mind, body, and ego will have you thinking things about yourself that's not true. It'll have you thinking that you're weak. It'll have you thinking that you're jealous. It'll have you thinking that you're intimidated. It'll have you comparing yourself to other people. It'll have you what? Feeling all kinds of crazy, crazy, crazy. And when you're not aligned and connected, you begin to believe it. You believe the labels that people put on you. They'll say you this and you that and you will attach yourself. You will gravitate to it. You identify yourself with it. And all of it is a lie. The only way you're going to know who you really are are is knowing more of who God is. And when you begin to step into that realm of knowing more and more about God, you'll begin to stand in your truth of what God has called you to be, do, and have. So listen, if you're in a space right now, confused of what you're supposed to be doing or even of who you are, just begin to know more of who God is and watch how you'll discover who you really are at core. You'll know that you're not weak, that you're strong. You'll know that you are deserving. You'll know that you are worthy. You'll know that you don't have to compete or compare yourself to anybody. Why? Because the race isn't given to the swift nor to the strong, but to the one who can endure until the end, which means when you're in your own race, you're in your own race. And you'll know that when you know more of God. You know more of God. Just say, I know God. Yeah, I know who God is, but do you are you longing to know more of him? Do you want to know more of who he is? Because the more you know of him, you're going to learn some stuff about you. You're going to say, I didn't know I had that in me. I didn't know I could do that. I didn't know I could be this. I had no idea. You will unlock treasures within you the more you know of God. That's why it's so important to keep that hunger, to keep that desire. To know more of him which means what you gotta stay aligned and connected if you feeling like you're stagnant that you're not progressing you're not moving forward and it may be just because you don't have the hunger you're not desiring to know more of god the more you know what's the saying the further you'll go it's the truth it's the truth it's so much so much about you that you don't even know about yourself and you've been living with you for Ever for your entire life. You've been you your whole life. And it's still stuff about you you don't know. But the only way you're going to know it is if you know more of God. God at core. Trust yourself to trust God. Trust yourself to trust God to show you who you are in his eyesight. He's created you to do so many things, to be so many things, and to have so many things. But we never become and be and do and have those things because we don't search, we don't seek, we don't long, we don't hunger, we don't desire to know more of him. It is his will that we prosper. But how do you prosper? You prosper with growth. 
That means what? There's an expansion. Remember we talked about that before? In order for you to expand, you have to grow. And if you're going to grow, understanding is going to come, but you got to know more of him to get it. you got to know more of God to know more of you. And you will, you will know more about yourself than, oh, I'm telling you. People that have known you your whole life, that when you begin to know more of God, and then you begin to know more of you, there'll be individuals in your life that grew up with you, maybe your parents, your siblings, your friends or whatnot. They'll see you and say, something's different, something's changed. What's going on? Ooh. And it's only because you have come into a new you, a new version of you, because what? You've known a new version of God. God will continue to reveal himself to you. See, sometimes we only know God in one dimension. God want to get it to a third dimension. He want to, he want to put you in 3D. He wants you to be on a, another level with him. But the only way you can get to another level to know more of who he is, you got to have the hunger. You got to desire that thing. You got to stay aligned and connected. And when you do that, I'm telling you, it'll open up for you. Your world will open up for you. You'll be on jobs that you would have never thought you'll be working in. You'll be driving a car that you never thought you'd be, you'll be driving in. You'll be living in a home that you never thought you would ever live in. You'll be married to a person that you never thought you would be married to. You'll be in a space that you never thought. It's because you didn't know yourself. But when you begin to know God, he'll put you in a place to know who you really are. Don't you want to know who you really are? Don't you want to know what you're really capable of? Don't you want to know that? That's how I am. I was like, oh, I want to know. What God, what, I want to know what, what, what's, what's more about me that I don't know about myself. And so I have to dig deeper. Dig deeper. Because I don't want, I don't want to be in this world and just be on one level. And God said, oh, you could be on so many levels. It's so, so much more to you, girl. That's what God is saying to you. It's so much more to you. Your man is so much more to you, young lady. No matter how old you are or how young you are, it's so much more to you. You're not an old dog. You can learn new tricks. God got a whole lot of stuff for you. But the only way you're going to find that out and know about that new stuff is if you know more of who he is. And I think I have repeated myself by saying that. But I feel like I just got to keep telling y'all. The more you know of him, the more you're going to know of who you really are the more you're going to know who you, who you really are. If you over there in negative thoughts, then you know you don't really know who God is. You really don't know who he is in your life. Once you begin to know more of him, you'll know that you're more than what you're thinking right now. Some of you are thinking that you are nobody, that you'll never amount to anything. But I'm here to tell you, just dive a little deeper, dig a little deeper into who God is. Ask God to reveal himself to you even the more. And watch how he began to show you who you are. You began speaking differently. You go, oh, I didn't know I knew that. How did I know that? I didn't go to school for that. How do I know that information? God will, he will reveal himself to you to reveal who you really are. Get to know your, your 2.0. Then go to the 3.0. Then go to the 4.0. Then keep growing and keep growing. But keep them first. Keep the hunger. Keep the desire to know more of him. Because he is ever expanding. Trust me, you will not run out of information about God. Just keep the hunger and go after it. And watch how you will indeed, you will indeed know who you really are. And you will win. expand in your full potential. Expand in your full potential. I hope y'all got this. And I know I've been repeating myself, but some of y'all needed to hear it. And I know I need to hear it, be reminded again as well. But listen, he'll show you who he is. And by that, you'll know who you are. See, I repeated myself again. Let me go. I hope y'all got this thing. But if you didn't, rewind and watch again. But in the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you will ever, 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 ever have the master smile. Why? Because your smiles, your smiles will always be genuine. I'll talk to y'all soon. Be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao.